Hey friends, Ash here with Jensense. Today I'm coming at you guys with a haul from my local TJ Maxx. I'm gonna be opening up each one of these, smelling them, letting you guys know what I think about them. Each one of these, 20 bucks or under. So right now we're on the hunt for a hidden gem, compliment beast kind of fragrance or something like that. That's what people like. So I, I guess that's what we're doing. First up, we've got this one, Guess Night. This is the cheapest of the bunch. Check this out, $8. And that yellow sticker means it is marked off. It was originally $9.99, a whole 10 bucks. Now this is a small bottle. It's only one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters. Then we've got this one, Mr. Burberry Indigo. This is 20 bucks. And they actually have this marked for women. I don't know if you can make that out, but it says it right there, women's. Yeah, even though it's Mr. Burberry. Uh, I don't know what the original price was on this. If I had to guess, they probably had it marked at like $29.99 or something like that. Box is a little bit busted up. Believe it or not, I've only smelled this once, and it was in passing at my local Belk. And then we've got this one, Abercrombie and Fitch, First Instinct Together. And this one was... 1999. This is 50 mils. They did have a 100 mil size bottle and I believe it was $10 more. This one of course the newest flanker in the First Instinct line of fragrances. I don't believe this is at discounters quite yet. I mean online discounters obviously it's at TJ Maxx. Uh, but if you do see this at your local TJ Maxx maybe you'll want to scoop it up. I guess we're gonna see. And it will eventually hit discounter. So, I mean, if you don't have a TJ Maxx nearby or this isn't at your TJ Maxx, you can probably wait like a week or two or whatever. And it's gonna pop up on FragranceNet, FragranceX, all of the above. All right, let's open up Mr. Burberry Indigo first and check this one out. There we go, Mr. Burberry Indigo. Making sure it's not busted in here. Don't smell anything, so that's good. And there we have it. And the box too, if you wanna see that. Got the name of the house, fragrance, size and concentration on the front, Burberry on the top, ingredients on the back, and the batch code 804502. As you can see, it's a bit humid. When I held up the bottle, it's already all fogged up. So let's go ahead and spray this one on. There we go. Sit it back here, oh, can you see that? Yeah, cool. Trying not to get my microphone like jammed up in my neck. It's got this very lightly herbal sweet opening with a good amount of citrus in there. It's actually really pleasing. A little bit better than I thought it was gonna be. It's got a bit of lemon. There's also bergamot and grapefruit in there. So you've got this citrus combination right off the top. It's got a, like I said, decent amount of sweetness in there. It works in this current weather really well. I believe it's 82-ish Fahrenheit right now and humid. This one is uh, smelling good. I've gotta say it's not, like crazy hyper unique or anything like that, but a lot of people would really like this smell. Little bits of mint, a little bit of rosemary. Yeah, not really super brisk, but it is fresh. It's a pretty good start, not too bad. And they actually had multiple bottles of this. I got the smallest one. So they had this one, 50 milliliters, they had a 100 milliliter, and then they had a big five ounce, 150 milliliter size bottle, which uh, I don't think I need that much. Though I gotta say, I do like the look of the 100 milliliter size bottle a bit more. This one ends up looking kind of stubby. Can't really call this one a hidden gem, I don't think, because it is a, a fairly major release from the house of Burberry, but compliment puller, yeah, I think you could say that pretty easily. It does have that type of DNA. And actually smelling this one here, I think that it might be more versatile for more people than even the original Eau de Toilette was, or Eau de Parfum even. Yeah, decent amount of mint, citrus kind of dying away a little bit, falling to the back slightly, and violet coming in to where you can pick that up. We'll do this one next, First Instinct Together. Here you've got the box. It's the same as all the other First Instinct boxes. You got the name of the fragrance there on the spine. And then the batch code for this one is JJ27. And here's a look at the bottle. And 
I like the gradient on this one. Darker blue going lighter up at the top gives kind of an ocean vibe to it, I guess. I feel like the first instinct fragrances are just always popping up at TJ Maxx. All of the flankers, the original, they're constantly popping up there on the cheap. So I guess not really a surprise to find this one at TJ Maxx even before it's at Fragrance Net. Let's spray it on. That has an Invictus vibe to it, immediately apparent. When I first sprayed it on my skin before I smelled where I had sprayed it, I got this tropical kind of fruitiness to it, which I'm guessing is the pineapple that's in the top of this fragrance. Uh, but then when you actually give it a smell, very invictus -y. But that's gonna be a huge compliment puller for younger guys on a budget, 20 bucks. Yeah. If you are a younger guy in your 20s or a teen or whatever, or even if you're an older guy, middle-aged, who likes the smell of the Invictus line, you spy this, pick it up. Invictus together. Hmm. So I don't really get pineapple here. When I first sprayed this on, before I smelled it, I did pick up what smelled like a, a fruity, tropical kind of sweetness, but I'm not really getting pineapple. Apple, yeah, yeah, in the sense of your sweetened, and I don't mean this in a negative way, synthetic apple. Doesn't smell like a realistic apple or anything like that. And uh, grapefruit and lavender. Musk, and I'm assuming Ambroxan in here as well that I'm picking up, but not an official note. If you know me, you know I'm not an enormous fan of Invictus. <laughs> and Invictus DNA, which is everywhere. And here we go, here's another one. Here's another. Uh, another child of Invictus. Yeah, this is one of the prettier children of Invictus. I've seen some ugly ones. Invictus really needs to keep it in its pants. We're gonna let that keep drying though and go on to this one. Guess night. I guess I should also say of all the Invictus flankers, this one to me reminds me the most of uh, Invictus Aqua. Yeah, it's got more of that, that kind of vibe uh, that slightly fresher kind of vibe that Invictus Aqua has. Invictus Aqua uh, 2018. So here we go, Guess Night. You can see there, name of the house, name of the fragrance size and concentration right there on the front. Guess logo at the top. Nothing on the sides, nothing on the back either. On the bottom, your ingredients and your batch code KB07. And there's this itty bitty tiny bottle, 30 milliliters. It says Guess right up there. In the corner, it's got this kind of design where it looks like there have been some little slashes on the bottle. Let's spray it on. This one I'm expecting to be the worst of the bunch, but you never know. You know, all things considered, $8 fragrance, pretty good. <laughs> I mean, when you're spending eight bucks on a fragrance, uh, you're at the bottom of the barrel in terms of uh, the quality that you can expect. So pretty good for eight bucks. Resinous sort of sweetness. Uh, you know, a little bit balsamic in the top. Initially, it had this little alcohol blast, which you expect. It goes away in like 15, 20 seconds, so it doesn't really matter. Don't really get much pepper. I know that's uh, a top note. Bit of grapefruit, kind of like a syrupy sweet grapefruit, not like a fresh, juicy grapefruit. I mean, the name makes sense. It's definitely a nighttime type of scent. You got this slightly dusty kind of sweetness coming out, vanilla labdanum in the base. So I imagine that's coming primarily from there. It's not too bad though. Yeah, eight bucks, not too bad. There's a little bit of spice in here. Not too much though. It's not like a, it's not like a black pepper in the sense that, you know, it's like a freshly cracked black pepper where it tickles your nose. It's not that, but there's a little bit in here. Yeah, this is not a bad little date night kind of fragrance. Potential compliment puller. Uh, I think of these three, this is the one that I would like the least most likely. I will say the longer it stays on my skin, the better it gets. So that's a big positive. Dry down's the most important part. It is on the sweeter side of things, like sweet, spicy, with a, a decent amount of vanilla and some clean woods in the background. All right, let's wrap this up. Uh, Mr. Burberry Indigo. 
I've had it on maybe 20 minutes now. It does not really resemble the opening all that much. So this one is one of those fragrances that does a substantial change from the opening into the mid. Still clean, not as sweet as it was before. Some ISOE Super coming in and those herbal facets from before, uh, but they are clean herbal facets, not dirty. I still like it, I still like it. But it has a decent amount of class to it. It's not going just the super sweet route. I respect that. First instinct together. More lavender is coming out now, a noticeable lavender. Still very clean, youthful, not maybe quite as youthful as it was off the top, but still youthful. People are gonna really like that. Guest night, oof. Hey, that's better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, surprisingly pretty good. Geranium, vanilla, touch of woods, grapefruit. I'm impressed. <laughs> I thought it was gonna suck hard. But I will say the opening, the opening is not as good. Let it dry down. But be aware, it is an $8 fragrance. Don't expect something smelling hyper natural or anything like that. It does smell a bit synthetic. It is very sweet, but under 10 bucks. Don't know that you could do better. Of these three, if we're talking just straight up wearability and likability for the most people out there, the highest number of people, this one would be first. First instinct together. I don't think it's all that close. All right, guys, it's going to do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.